camera. Um, basically what happened is I ran out of space on the memory card. Um, so I swapped out the memory card to an 8 gig uh, instead of using a 2 gig. Um, so down onto this piece now. Um, or, and the inside of the lens. Um, like I said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chrome the bottom, chrome the top. Once that's dry, I'm going to then put another layer of maskol on, uh, which is the Humbrol maskol, cross top here, and then paint red uh, with clear red. Um, and you'll see the effect that that gives um, once it's done. Same again when applying uh, the chrome, um, as we did with the gun metal. Nice even layers across across the piece uh, or where you're spraying. Keep it nice and light. Uh, and um, basically just build it up from there um, and then once you're happy with your final finish uh, that's it, you're done um, so I'm going to um, get cracking and once it's done I'll show you how it looks And there we go. Uh, um, very simple and very straightforward. Um, only took a couple of seconds to do with the chrome, but I'm only doing a small area. So, right, on to the next piece. There we have it. Um, I wouldn't have said that bit came out as well as that. To be fair, um, I think that's quite a lot better. Um, but it's not going to be an issue because, like I said, that's going to get a clear coat of green over the top. Um, so. However, I am going to do next um, is go over with the pump ball mask and hopefully get a good finish on the hot metal red. So, with this pump ball mask um, all you need. Sorry about that, I had to get my paintbrush out. Um, standard paintbrush. And all you do, dip it in. And like I said, all you do is simply apply it wet. I'm probably still in front of the camera there. Um, Sorry about this, this is not on camera, I'm just trying to uh, get in. So, as you can see, it goes on purpley pink colour. 
and then when it dries it'll dry clear um, it does take a little while to dry though so we're going to leave that for now So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the rest of it done, leave it to dry, and we'll come back shortly. Okay, so we're back. Um, I've given the humble mask all enough time to dry, and basically got my hot metal red ready. And what we're going to do is we're going to pop that red, this long bit at the top here, and then these two bottom bits at the bottom. So, we'll push on. Okay, so there we are. Um, once that dries, I'm hopefully hoping that comes out really, really well. Um, anyway, like I said, we'll push on. Um, I'll get the other piece done, and once it's all dry, I'll take all the masking tape off from that, and uh, we'll see how it looks. Now, even though both have been done in exactly the same way, for some reason, this one here hasn't come out with the same shine as this one here. Um, so what I might have to look to do is possibly re-chrome that and then reapply the hot metal red. Um, not quite sure what's happened. Both the bottoms are okay. Um, maybe I was holding the airbrush too close, or um, I put it too thick on that one. Um, so we'll address that um, at some point. But that is basically it for those bits for now. Um, I'm going to leave that, that one both of these bits um, a while to dry and then take all the masking off and see how it looks like I said that one's fine um, that one I'm not impressed with the finish um, what I could do though instead of faffing about because it looks okay it just doesn't have the shine is just darken that one a bit more but yeah I can do that
Uh, there we go. Uh, actually, well, quite well actually. Uh, quite pleasure then. Right, well, uh, that's it for now.